boundary conditions come from the physical problem defined with it boundary and other conditions that means the boundary conditions have to be physically defined one boundary condition that depend that is defined or prescribed by the physics is that base temperature is tb where from x is measured so therefore at x is equal to 0 t is equal to tb which means theta is equal to theta b theta b means theta b means tb minus t that means theta in terms of theta it is theta b what is another boundary condition another boundary for another boundary condition you have to search for another boundary condition with respect to x that means we have to find out what is the boundary condition at x is equal to l if l is the length of the fin you have to know whether it is insulated or something else so one very simple case there are various cases one case very long fin sometimes in problem we tell that fin is very long very long fin engineers are always smart they always take an approximation they don't go like mathematicians very long means consider x tends to infinity that is means that means the very long fin and if x is very long tends to infinity then eventually the trailing surface the extreme end of the fin will attain the environment temperature very good so this <coughs> boundary condition is that at as it is written as x tends to infinity t tends to obviously this is mathematics t infinity and theta tends to 0 this is the simple one so first boundary condition gives you theta b is c1 plus c2 now in this case if you consider a very long fin so automatically you see c1 is 0 because if you make this x tends to infinity this term vanishes and if theta is 0 means c1 is 0 that means the solution is that theta by theta b is e to the power minus m x that means there is an exponential decay of temperature towards 0 very simple that means if you draw this graph exponential sorry i will show this thing afterwards theta by theta b is e to the power minus m x at x tends to infinity theta tends to 0 so what is the value of q now q means what what is q try to understand q at every section changing what happens again try to understand this these surfaces transfer heat that means that any section that heat which is coming in is getting transferred by convection from the lateral surface and the rest part is being conducted that means the heat conduction through this is getting reduced that means the heat which is taking from the base extracting from the base by the fin is almost given to the atmosphere by its lateral surface due to convection and a very less amount is being convected from this surface and in a long fin the entire heat which is takes from the base is being convected by the lateral surface because when it reaches this surface exposed to the atmosphere at the extreme end it has reached almost t infinity because t tends to t infinity no heat transfer heat transfer is zero h delta t delta t is zero however this is the concept we will go by mathematics we are interested at q x is equal to 0 what is the heat transfer from the base engineers are interested baba boldo heat transfer kidna hai from base i have attached a fin what is my heat transfer rate from the base that means how much heat it is extracting from the base okay i will tell you very simple minus k 
area. DPDS. This area now, I am using as the area of the fin. Earlier when I talked to you to introduce the problem, I told this is the area of the wall A. But now whenever I am using area A, this is for the cross-sectional area of the fin. In the equations also I derive that. Do not get confused with this area. So, this is the cross-sectional area of the fin and in this problem we are considering a rectangular fin having con con constant cross-sectional area. So, therefore, this is the cross-sectional area A. So, therefore, minus K A and D P D X at x is equal to 0. So, what is d t d x at x is equal to 0? Theta by theta b means I write here t minus t infinity divided by t b in terms of temperature decoding the variable transform variable into the actual temperature is e to the power minus m x. So, therefore, it is very simple that d t d x is equal to minus m T b minus T infinity e to the power minus m x and that x is equal to 0, the exponential function will be 1. So, it will be minus m T b minus 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 will plus that is k a m into T b minus T infinity. Now, m is root over h p by k a, I defined earlier, again I write m was defined as, was defined as root over h p by k a and if we put that then q at x is equal to 0 becomes root over h p k a into t b minus t infinity which can be written as theta. So, this is the it transfer from the base and this is the temperature distribution. You do not have to mark any formula, but you have to know how it is being derived. Again and again I am telling you, you have to be capable of generating the governing differential equation by taking an element with the understanding, physical understanding of the conservation of energy balance. What is happening? Something is coming it will go whether generation inside, whether there is a lateral convection, all together you have to develop the basic equation and then slowly you have to think that which are constant given in the problem or everything is varying, then it becomes a problem of mathematics, how complicated it will be. And if you do it meticulously, you will arrive at any equation in the examination also if any problem is there, we have to derive the equation. So, you do not mug up that theta by theta b to the power minus m x q is equal to root over h p k theta b for a long fin not required, but sequentially how the deduction is made understand the problem both physics and the mathematics. Now, the second group second boundary condition is Now, the second boundary condition is another type of fin, second boundary condition means another type of fin we may consider not long fin, finite length, finite length of fin, finite length of fin let it be L, but insulated tip, insulated tip insulated tip that means tip is 
insulated, insulating material is pasted on it. That means no heat will be transferred. So this boundary condition is common to all, base temperature TV. So what is the second boundary condition in this case, please, please tell, at x is equal to L, what is the boundary condition? It is insulated. Hey. What, in which form the boundary condition will come? If it is insulated, means no heat transfer. Please, anybody? Flux zero means terms of. I have to solve the temperature equation. DTDX zero. Who has told it? Uh, DTDX is zero. You tell that because I have to solve the. I have to solve which equation? Theta is C one e to the power m x plus C2 e to the power minus m. I have to solve this equation. Let me write this here. So, I have to generate from, you are correct, you are also correct, but ultimately you have to translate in this form, because I have to solve this C1, C2. Theta is C1 e to the power m x plus C2 e to the power minus m x. And one condition is that theta b at x is equal to 0. That means theta b is C1 plus C2. So, another condition is heat transfer 0, heat flux 0 means minus k dt dx is 0. That means dt dx is 0. That means dt dx at x is equal to L is 0. What is that? That means 0 is equal to dt dx 0 means d theta dx is 0. Same thing because theta is c minus c infinity, 0 is m c 1 e to the power m l minus m c 2 e to the power 1. If you solve it, you will get c 1 is equal to e to the power minus m l by e to the power m l plus e to the power minus m l and you will get c 2 is e to the power m l divided by e to the power m l plus e to the power minus m l. And if you substitute this for the second case, you get the expression theta by theta b in terms of hyperbolic function cos hyperbolic m l minus x this is the argument divided by cos hyperbolic m l. You know the hyperbolic function that cos hyperbolic x is equal to exponential x plus exponential minus x by 2. Okay? So, this is the final expression. Now, it becomes a routine job. Only thing is that you have to write the boundary condition correctly. Then, things are done. Now, third category of problem is spin of finite length L, but no insulation. This is the most practical problem. These are not bad. Long pin means what? What? How much long? How do you take that T is T infinity? T may be very low. There is a huge drop from T B. Depends upon thermal conductivity also. Now, insulated sometimes the pin surfaces may not be insulated. And even with insulation, there may be heat loss. So, this third one is the most practical condition that spin of finite length, spin of finite length L, but with convective heat loss with convective heat loss 
with convective heat loss at the tip. What is meant by that? That means at x is equal to L, what do we have? This is a conjugate heat transfer problem, K dt dx at L. Per unit area, I am writing, or you can write the area minus K into area. That means the heat which is coming to this surface by conduction minus K dt dx, K dt dx, which we did earlier combined conduction convection problem in series the same heat is being transferred to the h into area into t minus t at l t l minus that means t l is the temperature at l so if you can understand this and correctly write this then things are okay that means minus k dt dx at x is equal to L must be equal to H into T L minus T L means T at this is clear to everybody that means this is the conduction heat at the tip which is being conducted that is lost I told you that ultimately what is happening if you go on dividing into number of elements each element this takes heat some is going by lateral surface then some is going by lateral surface then it is conducted next so this way the conduction heat transfer is getting reduced when it comes here most of the heat which has been taken from the base has been convected by the lateral surface so the rest part of the heat which is conducted finally to the extreme exposed surface is being lost to the surrounding ambience by convection from this part of the exposed surface. This is the same area because we are considering the constant area rectangular pin. So, with this thing, this concept in mind, one can write the differential, uh, sorry, boundary condition this. Clear? Step 2 is, now convert this boundary condition in terms of our <coughs> theta and all these things. How to do it? Now, dt dx means d theta dx, that means minus k, dt dx means d theta dx, that means I can write now this as d theta dx and this as theta l in my nomenclature because my equation is in terms of the transformed variable theta that is excess temperature theta l. <coughs> now, what is minus k d theta dx at what is d theta dx t 1 e to the power m l minus m c 2 e to the power minus m h into theta l that is c 1 e to the power m l plus c 2 e to the power minus No, this side C1 MC1, yes, M, MC1, this side is simply C1, sorry, MC1, d theta dx is MC1 e to the power ML plus MC2 e to the power minus. So, this is another equation. You can rearrange it some coefficient into C 1 plus some another coefficient C 2 equals to something. That means, these are two equations for C 1, C 2 in terms of M and L. And if you substitute this, then you get a solution like this. you get a solution like this. Now, I will 
write it here. This is not working. Now you get a solution like this theta by theta b. Now earlier case we got a solution theta by theta b is cos hyperbolic m l minus x that is earlier case insulated tip divided by cos hyperbolic m l. Now I go get a solution theta by theta b for this third case this is the second case this is the third case theta by theta b is cos hyperbolic m l minus x plus h by m k sin hyperbolic m l minus x divided by cos hyperbolic m l plus h by m k sin hyperbolic m l. This is a routine matter but tedious job to find out the expression. It is a rearrangement thing that means you have to find out c 1 c 2 and then you can find it. Other two things I have forgotten to tell you that even in the earlier case this is insulating tip this one of finite length L difference is that this is non insulating tip of finite length L which transfers heat with the ambient in terms of convection where H is the convection coefficient. Okay? Now what is the heat transfer? Earlier I did it for long pin q at x is equal to 0 is equal to minus k a dt dx at x is equal to 0. Now, if you do it from here, what is dt dx? This theta by theta b means t minus theta is t minus t infinity, theta b is t b minus t infinity. So, if you do it, then you get it is equal to minus k a t minus t infinity. So, therefore, t b minus t infinity into cos hyperbolic m l minus x that is sin hyperbolic m l minus x with a minus sign and cos hyperbolic m l at x is equal to 0 tan hyperbolic m l that means minus tan hyperbolic m l. That means this becomes is equal to k a sorry m, m will be there m, m tan hyperbolic m l T b minus T infinity and we recall that m is root over h p by k a. So, it is root over h p k a tan hyperbolic m l into theta b. This is an expression. Now, this becomes all routine task. It is root over h p k a tan hyperbolic m l into theta b. This is the heat flux at x is equal to 0. Similar you can find out the heat flux expression for this. It is a lengthy expression that I can tell you. You can see in the book also for this case number 3 the heat flux 
at x is equal to 0 will be let me see that it is difficult that which function will come with insulated pin tip sin hyperbolic m l plus h by m k cos hyperbolic m l that means it will be sin hyperbolic m l plus h by m k cos hyperbolic m l divided by cos hyperbolic m l plus h by m k this is very tedious i know also boring but you have to afford to do this because without this it is not complete concept is very interesting that how the pin enhances the heat transfer then by govern setting up the governing differential equation you have to solve it with the boundary condition and for more practical cases the boundary conditions are such things are little complicated so complicated means tedious in equation in solving the thing so that finally we solve for temperature distribution in terms of the excess temperature and the heat transfer from the base which is enhanced and temperature distribution heat transfer from the base for different cases so these three cases are most important boundary conditions another boundary condition is there that fin is of finite length and its end surface is kept at a temperature tl that means tl is specified so everything has to be found in terms of tl that is given as a task for you to do it then we will be solving few problems on this fins extended surfaces so that we know that how we can apply our knowledge that means this equations which we have derived along with our knowledge to those practical problems in the next class and i will finally give you a generalized approach mathematical approach for any one dimensional steady heat conduction problem which will act as a fin which will act as a simple geometry without extended surface lateral surface all those things combined with. so therefore next class we will be most probably the concluding class for the one dimensional steady state heat conduction i will be solving few problems and then we will start the two dimensional heat conduction steady state and then we will go for unsteady heat conduction okay so next class means tomorrow okay thank you